Hey guys, Green Guitar Guy here and welcome back to another update from our LEGO City. In today's video we are going to be reconfiguring the entire city. We're going to be uh, rebuilding some tables and laying things out completely different. So this is the last time you will see the city looking uh, just like this. Are you guys ready to get to work? Yes! Yes! Alright, let's get to work. All right, so taking a quick break from the speed build, uh, Briley's here in the Lego room and we just kind of wanted to show you what we've got going on. You've got your baby with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so, um, so here's what we've got so far. We've got the tables built and we also got a background uh, put up. This is one that we found on uh, Amazon. It's just uh, it's a paper with uh, clouds and stuff. Um, so over here, the table, um, uh, I'll back up a little bit. There's our shelf that we had and there's our build table. It's got uh, a bunch of stuff on it right now. So this was where we actually had uh, we had another table. This one uh, is a new one that we built. Um, it's a little bit wider. This is, uh, I think it's 30 inches out so that's like three full base plates. And uh, so we've got, uh, we've got like a raised part of the city and then going all the way around so it is at least the uh, the table down here is at least uh, is at least 30 inches out. This one's actually I think 33 inches out from the wall. Um, so that'll give us a full uh, room for running the trains and having them be able to loop back around. Um, so right now we don't have like a bridge across the center of the city, right? Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, a bridge across the center of the room. So it actually feels a lot more open in here but we we also have a ton more space for base plates right yeah so we can build a ton more and i think it looks it looks a lot better i can get it in focus um the sky background hopefully will look pretty cool once we get the buildings in place and uh so yeah i think we're about ready to get the buildings in place right briley yep okay well let's go work on that So three weeks have passed since we first uh, started this video and we've made quite a lot of progress. Uh, we've got new tables installed, we've got um, 
like the upper part of the city like tables built and they look pretty good so we can actually run trains underneath. We've got uh, background in place. Um, I put in some, uh, some track lighting uh, just to kind of help light things up well in the city so it looks pretty decent in video I think. Um, working on getting some, we've got the train, uh, at least one, uh, one set of track in for the train. Um, we're going to be working on adding more. Um, got buildings in place, at least temporarily. Um, we're still going to work on probably placement of buildings. Um, right now we just wanted to get them up and uh, in place and then we'll work on kind of um, pairing what buildings look nice together, maybe doing different districts, I don't know. We'll, we'll work on that. But, uh, but it's looking pretty decent, um, like in the looks of it. So there's the train track. So we've got uh, the rail line goes under this part of the city and hoping to extend it over, over to this part um, in the next couple of updates, hopefully. Um, we'll also be working on getting like a wall in place in, uh, in this section so that you don't really see, I don't know, see as much of the train track and see under the city. So hopefully, uh, hopefully in the next couple updates, but uh, looking pretty decent right now. Um, got the Security Mutual building in place. Um, we've got our farmer's market in place in, Senate, in front of uh, Assembly Square. And then over on this side, um, we've got kind of like a bay, um, like beach area, um, water area. So I'm um, just kind of playing around with doing some testing right now. We, um, we've got the uh, one by one rounds out, just playing with seeing how it looks for water. Um, eventually, we'd like to put in like, like to put in maybe some boat docks and stuff over on the side there. Um, maybe make like a pier, maybe a lighthouse. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll see how that turns out. Um, but we've got plenty of work to do now for uh, for some upcoming videos. So we've got a lot of room, as you can see under the the tables uh, the kids have their area set up so Emily's got her city um, we set up a whole rail line for uh, for Bray's train so Riley's got her stuff over in here and Bray's rail line kind of makes a loop out under the table here hold on I'll go put this handheld um, so he's got his stuff over in this area and it kind of loops out here under our uh, under our pump and water tank um, so he's liking that he can actually run his train in a full circle now. Um, so yeah, things are coming along pretty nicely. So our raised part of the city, we've got it on these like uh, furniture adjusters. Um, I've got those on uh, each leg, and we picked those up on Amazon. Um, so you can adjust the height of the table uh, somewhat, and at least kind of level things out. So that's really nice. We actually put it on the uh, on the legs of uh, all these new tables that I built um, just to kind of make sure things are level because uh, some of the legs are sitting on carpet and some of them are sitting on concrete so it really helps to kind of actually have a town that's somewhat level I still have to adjust some of them but uh, but that helps out a ton um, if you're curious what ones we use I'll put a link in the description of the video um, to some uh, to some of the things that we picked up from Amazon we've also got the backdrop that we picked up from Amazon and some other stuff and uh, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to check those out all right so earlier I mentioned that we're gonna do like a facade retaining wall in front of the upper part of the city just to kind of hide what's underneath and uh, so we're working on the railing design here on the top um, that we we had a railing around the old city and I want to put uh, railing in on this one as well so this was our old railing uh, post design a one by two uh, with a slope on the top and so we're trying some new designs so number two here we so we've got these uh, masonry bricks and then um, a, a dark bluish gray um, modified uh, tile whatever with this jumper on the top and a lamp and then over on the third one, we've got a uh, 
a one by one tile uh, turned at a 45 degree angle on top of that. And then the fourth one here, we've got a, uh, a triple slope 45. I've uh, got two of these put together just to kind of, I don't know, kind of looks like a pyramid pretty cool design but I'd love to see I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions so if in the uh, if in the comments you want to comment uh, which one you like best so one two three or four I would love to hear what you guys think which one uh, we should adopt as our uh, as our standard for the city all right so we've got some sig fig news we have new sig figs. Yes, we've got some new sig figs. Briley, who do we have? Brick family. Brick family. And Emily, who do you have? Robin Hall. Robin Hall. Yeah, so um, so as I said before, this video's been going on for about three weeks. So we've had these guys, uh, they've actually been here for a while. And we're finally getting to add them into the city which is really exciting, but they, uh, they are some awesome YouTubers. They both have some, uh, some great channels. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to their channels uh, so you can check them out. And uh, we're really excited to have them here in the city. We're gonna put them here in the tour bus along with uh, Rocky Brick and Zabadak. And uh, Robin Hull also sent along some uh, minifigures for the kids. We love them! We love them. They are awesome. Thank you so much for sending those along. Great to have you guys here in our city. <laughs> Alright, well that's all we got for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you could give it a thumbs up. Thumbs, subs, and comments are always appreciated. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you later. Bye bye.